Welcome back to another episode of Chalk Talk. We're happy to see you. We're happy to have you back. Thank you. Thank you for being here with us today. Exactly. Welcome back to another episode of Chalk Talk. If you've been here, like I always like to say, welcome. If you've been here. Welcome back. Thanks for clicking. Today's episode is about Visa Card. Visa. Visa. Visa Card. Visa, Inc. Visa, Visa. Visa Inc. Ticker symbol? V. V. <laughs> Pretty simple. Easy. One letter. Yeah. But anyways, yep, today's episode is about Visa. We had a Visa versus MasterCard. So this is, I guess, our technical first just Visa episode. Not yeah. too much news, just do an, an update episode and going to go over some of their numbers and a little bit of information. Right, their earnings uh, came their, out when? What, on the 23rd? Earnings. Yeah, 23rd. We were supposed to do this episode a week ago. But yeah, that's good. It's fine. It's cool. Episode was ruined yeah the episode that we did have tech technology anyway but yeah so i have yeah. an article here visa beats profit estimates plans 25 million dollar i mean sorry 25 billion dollar stock buyback this was released uh on the 24th so it topped the $2.23 average estimate analyst surveyed by Bloomberg. Payment volume climbed by 8.7% to $3.2 trillion. The Federal Reserve is poised to consider a change to the limit on fees. That was also addressed in our Visa versus MasterCard. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so its net revenue climbed by 11% to $8.61 billion, beating Wall Street's bet on $8.8 Point fifty six billion estimate. The strongest card spending growth came in Central Europe, the Middle East, and Africa, increasing 22% from a year earlier. Cross-border volumes increased 16%, down from 36% in the same period last year. And the firm reserved $129 million for litigation on in the period. So they're getting sued, SEC, Federal Reserve. They're making a lot of money and they're saying you're you're charging people too many on too much on fees, but hey, they're beating their earnings. So hey, profit off of <clears throat> profit off of the poor. Well, I think what they're doing is uh what a lot of major larger companies are now starting to slowly do is they're putting more attention and more uh advertising and more effort into um developing countries. Yeah, well, I mean, as you we, mentioned, you were literally just talking about Central America, Africa, yeah. like developing parts of the world, countries that are on the come up, parts of the world that are where the middle class is growing. Yeah, plus so, they have all those projects they're working on. But I mean, hey, yeah, and like we mentioned in previous episodes too, Visa's trying to get really uh, heavy into the crypto game. So AI, fintech startups. I oh, mean, yeah, they yeah, are yeah. raising their rates. They are raising their rates. Mm-hmm. And um, and well, people are gonna pay him biggest uh payment process company in the world. Yep, exactly. No way around it. <laughs> um, and people are like we said before, swiping their card because they don't have the cash, or they're trying to preserve the cash and use the credit they have and build it, pay it back slower. Whatever the case may be, Visa is going to profit off of your debt. And yeah, that's what it Crazy. is. That's what they do. Spending's at like almost like an all-time high like people are spending like crazy even though like we're on the verge of i've said in multiple episodes i think in my opinion world war three and we're in like as uh richard kawasaki likes to say the everything bubble the car bubble just popped so banks being horrible but visa's doing great what's the psychology behind that spend i don't know jp morgan's down sad and poor because bank of america is down Shop Big America's therapy. getting drilled, but Visa's going up. Yeah, it's crazy. Like you said, um, their uh, over a year of year change is up eight one percent, and up nine point six percent and ten point eight percent respectively on their EPS, their revenue. Today they were bullish. Close at yeah. two three zero eight. Uh, yeah, their stock price hasn't really changed much. I mean, it's only been a week since we did our first Visa, well, uh, Visa versus Mastercard. Yeah. Um, it's literally—I'm pretty sure. I think it's like the exact price is trading within that same range. I'm pretty sure our last episode on the Visa versus Mastercard was 233, and then I had like a little small ten dollar pop. I think because of earnings, we saw a 242.98 high. Yeah. 
Yeah. And then today it closed at 233.08, which I believe I'm almost 90% sure I went back and looked back at the Visa versus MasterCard episode. I'm pretty sure it also closed out at 233 as well that same day. But there's little dips here and there just by a few dollars. <laughs> yeah, nothing crazy. Anyway. Some analysts are slightly dropping their um their price target and some of them are raising yeah. it. Slightly. I have here Barclays 285 to 278. Mm -hmm. But I mean, we got you sent me this article Mizuno Mizuho, I never know. Mm -hmm. I apologize if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly, but 240 to 243, yep. I mean, $3 increase. And then Zach's, they're bullish. Uh, I think they have a $285 price target, Zach's.com, Zach's. Um, and then the overall Wall Street price target is 276.32. Um, oh. And that's based off of 38 different um, analysts with a high of 325. So currently, yeah. 233.08 and after hours had a ten, slightly over a tenth of a percent drop, not much. At 232.35. Uh, so 52 week low of 192.21 and a 52 week high of 250.06. So the average analyst price target is $26, 25 and change. Visa is definitely uh, one of those safe over stocks there to try. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, I don't know if it's like a great trade, but. No, I don't mean like day trade. I mean, unless you have that kind of cash and you just feel inclined to trade on a pennies on a, on a share, yeah. but I mean, $2. they're a good stock to. <laughs> to park your money. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I'd say. I don't know. Right now, you said it. Right now it's two thirty three. Average average holding is two thirty. So mm -hmm. majority of people are in the green. Yeah, and um, if the number, I, their numbers even got even better. Honestly, <laughs> they're uh, from this quarter from this earnings, their return on assets up. Last quarter we saw plus eleven point two four percent. This quarter we're up plus fifteen point six nine percent. The return on equity is up almost 1% from last quarter. Their earnings per share is up plus 24.71% from last quarter at 19.46%. Their net margins are up. Um, they had very like mediocre. They had two negative ones to close 2022 and start uh, 2023. Um, and now they have a positive net margin of 9.11%. Debt to assets kind of crappy but not too horrible it's negative uh 3.66 percent book value per share is up over 11 percent their net income's up over 21 percent their total revenue is up 11 percent their operating income is plus 21 percent um they have gained um three billion dollars well more like two and a half billion dollars in um, assets over the last quarter, but they've also gained about 1.8 billion on liability. So that offsets that to about 700 million dollars. Yeah, I think it's interesting uh, that they that their EPS is estimated to be higher, but their their outlook has looks to be bearish. So what is bearish by two dollars bearish? Like, what do you mean? Mm hmm. But. Yep, and they have a very healthy margin, like we talked about in um, the Visa versus Mastercard. Have a uh, fifty-one point sixteen percent margin with a debt to asset. It's also pretty healthy, um, decently healthy, not amazing, but pretty pretty good. Fifty-six point three two percent. I mean, you got companies like McDonald's is a hundred percent negative, <laughs> like we did in our last episode, but. Um, I don't know. I mean, overall, I'm very bullish on um, Visa. I think they're going to... I don't know if I want to say the word pivot, but I can see them definitely getting into uh, other different things, not just doing their classic uh, payment processing. Like I spoke about earlier, they're also trying to get into crypto, probably more into like fintech. Um, 
they're yeah, going I mean, to emerge markets. So there's a lot of growth in a company that's already well well worth over four hundred billion there and half of a trillion dollar market cap. Yeah. They have a dollar um, and eighty cent uh dividend. Wow. Yep. They could give more. Come on, Visa. <laughs> but yeah, um decent PE ratio, not horrible. Um better than their trailing 12 months. So um the earnings are expected to get even better uh moving forward to the next um to the next earnings, which would put us at in the end of January, I believe, which would come up for most uh companies. Visa's next earning is released, expected to be between the 24th and 29th of January. Yeah. So they're expected to get slightly mm -hmm. better. It wouldn't shock me. I mean, outside of Meta. Outside of Meta, maybe. I'd say this is probably your next best bet at a trillion dollar company. Yeah. If you're looking for a dip, I would say stay on the lookout for the whole Federal Reserve limit on fees thing, fee limit thing. That might help it dip a little bit in the market. Yeah, I think Visa has another, what is it, the, some support around like 216, I think it is. If you saw a dip, so it could drop 15, 18, 20 bucks maybe, if you were lucky. Funny. Maybe. I mean, it has a 52-week low of 192.21, which is roughly $41, $40. That's about it. About 39 and change, if you want to get real close. But yeah, I mean, if I was to buy this stock, I'd probably want to buy it in the teens, like the two teens, I mean, like 215-ish. Okay. Maybe to like look for some sort of entry. If I were to buy this stock, I personally don't own this stock. It's just on the talk talk stock list. <laughs> Maybe at like 220. Yeah. Maybe like a thirteen, fourteen dollar dip would be. That's the lowest it's been in six months, according to Yahoo Finance. Two nineteen, two twenty. Six months. Yeah. So that puts us what last February. Um. Let's see. I'm on this. I'm just on the six month chart. So it says here June. Is that June? It's so tiny. I can't. I think June thirty first. Oh, yeah, what am I thinking? February would or, be or May 31st, May 31st. Yeah, what am I so, saying? February, nine months. <clears throat> yeah. Visa. May. But yeah, not too, too much news on Visa. I mean, Visa, give a higher dividend. <laughs> They're like, we don't need to. We don't really need to incentivize. Their dividends. buyback, the $25 billion oh, buyback. Oh, yeah, the buyback. I did mention that. That's also very bullish. Anytime you see a company doing a yeah. buyback, they have enough cash to buy back their common stock, which will raise the price over time, as we know. Well, maybe some people. Well, they're stashing. I don't know how much cash these kind of companies actually put to the side for litigation, but they're like, they're like, look, we're ready. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Apple has like a hundred billion dollar buyback. It's it's, it's crazy, <laughs> but um, I think that's why Warren Buffett has one hundred and sixty billion dollars of it. Uh, yeah, another Warren we'll Buffett. We'll talk about Coca Cola and Warren Buffett soon. We have not have had we have not had a Coca Cola episode. Uh, I've been meaning to do one along with many other episodes. Be on the lookout for a Coca Cola episode. Be on the lookout for uh, a Baidu episode. Be on the lookout for more AMC updates. Be on the lookout for GME. That looks getting real interesting. Fifty two week lows, actually, lows we have not seen since before the squeeze yeah yeah in 2021 so people are getting excited about that dollars and 85 cents they're Whoa. like the last time it was though this low it ripped and so people are looking for that they're looking for, I'm that looking for like a yeah i'm looking for sub teens i might have to get some anyway that's gme but uh yeah be on the lookout for future episodes of new episodes of new of other well not new companies but new to the channel uh, we have plenty of other uh, stocks, plenty of other companies we haven't gone over that we plan on it. Um, and then, yeah, be on the lookout for updates and earnings reports on companies that you have already seen on the channel. Yeah. But yeah, that's it for me on my end for Visa. I'm bullish. Uh, $25 billion buyback. 
average Wall Street price targets like what twenty five dollars over the current price. Yeah, so no, more be all right. fifty dollars over the current price. I think the average Wall Street is. So, this is going to be all right, and uh, don't be shocked. One day you see a trillion dollar market cap, especially if they get heavy into crypto and oh, yeah. they go they go more into that. emerging markets and looking for a Visa coin. Yeah. A lot of these companies hate the SEC. They're like, all right, you're going to you're gonna mess with us? We're just going to leave. Bye. <laughs> yeah. The SEC is going to like remove 20% of the GD US GDP. <laughs> well, I don't know if they're... I don't know. I don't want to get into it. What are they doing? Anyway, but Visa. <laughs> thanks for tuning in. Yes. Thanks and, for uh, coming back. Thanks yeah, for showing thanks for up, in. listening. And be on the lookout for a Bristol Myers Squib uh, update and earnings report that we were going to do. Uh, yeah, and PayPal. 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 And a MasterCard. And MasterCard. And a Tesla update because Tesla's getting drilled. Oh my God, Tesla. Tesla's anyway, getting drilled. Thanks for tuning in. Tesla's Stay down safe. like $50 a share. We will anyway. ramble forever about this. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your time. Please like, share, and subscribe and support our little channel to get it a little a little bigger. Maybe we can go from here to there. Who knows? But anyways. Stay as safe. always, take care. Safe. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good morning, a good afternoon, and a great night. And we'll see you Bye. next one. Take care. Bye. Mm. Anyway. Ready? Mm -hmm. welcome back to another episode of chalk talk thanks for coming back thanks for joining us we're happy to hear we're <laughs> sorry let me start again three two one